Hey, Facebook. How are you doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you saw some snow. I saw just a little bit of snow, not much. Um, but I did enjoy the school being out because that allowed me to spend a little bit more time with my granddaughter who's been with me all day. All right, let me get my Facebook on here so I can see what's going on. Um, so tell me how everybody's been today. Has everybody been good? Oh, I hope you have. There we are. Now I know. So anyway, um, we were going to decorate my dining room for Easter, but because of the snow um, and the fact that my uh, daughter had surgery yesterday, and I didn't want my and I didn't want her or my sister driving in the uh, bad weather, uh, I decided to do something different. Now, I will tell you that this is coming right off the cuff. I I've never done this before except for about 30 minutes or maybe an hour ago. Um, but we're gonna make some uh, St. Patrick's Day gnomes. Now, I've been in a tizzy all day long because I have several wooden signs that I use for my wreaths and they're all spring and summer. And uh, something kind of like this. Oh, something, well, like this. This is 4th of July. But I can't find them. Can't find them anywhere. I've moved them. I know they're here. I know they got here when we moved back in July. But I can't find them anywhere. And I've been in a tizzy all day about it. Um, so I had to rush and come up with something to, um, to do. And I was going to do a wreath, but, you know, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So, me and my sister had planned on uh, making Christmas gnomes, and we never did get around to doing it. So, um, here we are. We're going to make some St. Patrick's Day gnomes, and we're going to do it together. And if you feel like I can do it differently or better, let me know. Because, like I said, this is the only one I've done, and I've done it about an hour or so ago. Most of this stuff I got from the Dollar General or uh, the Dollar Tree. Um, some of it came from Hobby Lobby, but most of it came from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to work on this together, okay? Oh, uh, Let's wait a few more minutes. And let me get my video up here. Um, uh, so I can see who I was watching. Anyway, so let's get started. There's a few people on, um, and so we're going to get started and uh, see what we can do here. Let me turn the volume down on this one so we're not competing. I turned the video on on my uh, laptop so I can see who I was uh, watching. All right, as always, we're going to open up in a word of prayer. Um, I'm thankful my daughter had gallbladder surgery yesterday and she came through just fine. Um, in total Jennifer style, she's not taking it easy at all. And, um, uh, you know, if she wasn't 35 years old, then I would, or 32, 33, I would, um, uh, probably go to her house and spank her. But she's old enough to know what she wants to do. I just hope that she takes it easy. And I hope she's watching tonight so she knows that. Anyway, so tonight we're going to make these little gnomes, uh, and we're going to, like I said, we're going to do it together, and um, let's get started. I'm going to turn the camera, okay? Here we go. Now, if you can't see, let me know. All right, so this is, we're going to, I've already made this one here, and I'm calling, this is a short one. I'm calling this the sun. We're going to make a mom and a dad. And I'm going to show you how I do it. And so, um, for the, if you want to make a small one, you just use a small crew sock like this. But for the bigger ones, we need to use uh, bigger crew socks so we can add more to it. So, I've got this at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. Um, 
And so, uh, let me move this mop. This mop is going to be the hair on the mother. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add rice to the bottom of our sock, and that's going to be the body. Now, you can add other stuff. Um, I was trying to use some like little stones, um, decorative stones that I had, but it looked like my uh, gnome had um, cellulite, so I took that out. I didn't want to. I didn't want to give him a complex. All right, so we're going to take our rice, and we're just going to pour it in here. I, sh I probably need a funnel. Probably would work better. Um, but we're just going to pour it in here if we can. How did I do that earlier? I guess because it was so I tell you what, we're just going to start and we're going to cut this top off because we're not going to use that anyway. We're going to cut this top part off here. All right, now that's going to make it easier to pull my rice in. So you just pour rice into the bottom of it. That just kind of, kind of gives it a base. Um, to, uh, you know, for that, for them to see it. All right, pouring the rice. So did anybody get any of snow to amount to anything today? Um, like I said, we didn't get much at all. All right, so now to, you can add rice all the way up if you want to, but instead of doing that, I use this fiber fill um, here, uh, I got this at Hobby Lobby or Walmart, I think, and I make a lot of stuff with a uh, stuff. And so this is, uh, the bag that I got, but you don't have to get a bag this big. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take some of it here and we are going to stuff our body just like so. And you can make it as fat or as thin as you want to, as full as you want. Just a tad more here. All right. So, now, there's our body. Let's make him a little bit more even here. Let's add a little more. Just a tad more. All right. So, there's our body. Now, to close the top so it won't, um, you know, so it won't, the stuff won't fall out of it, I, t I take zip ties. Zip ties are my favorite thing, these small zip ties here. So I'm just going to take a zip tie, I'm going to cinch it together and take a zip tie and cinch it up. Just like so. All right, put it tight. And then I'm going to cut this like so. All right, now here's our gnome body, okay? All right, so slide this out of the way. I've got two different socks here. I've got this one and then I bought these at the dollar store um so i'm going to use this i'm we're going to do the mother i'm going uh, and then we'll do the dad but i'm going to do this uh for the mother so i'm just going to take and cut the tags off here without cutting my sock if i can do it all right we'll set one to uh oh attached there. We'll set one to the side and we can use it later. Get that little thing off of there. All right, we'll set that to the side. All right, so you want your heel of your sock to go toward, the heel of the sock to go toward the back. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're just going to Put it over the top of the body. Now, now you can stuff this if you want to. Um, and I just put a paper towel in this one just to see if it would give it a little, in this one, to see if it would give a little body. But I think we are going to stuff this to see if, um, to see if it stands up a little bit better. 
So let me grab some stuff in here. And we'll just put a little bit in here just to, and you can pull this. It doesn't have to be so um, fluffy. You can pull it that little bit, just fill that whole area. And you can just pull it, put your hand up in here and just kind of pull the, the polyfill down and even it out, however you want to do it. Just like that. Okay. Put this here and we'll use it again in a minute. All right, so this goes back over our body here, just like that. Now, what do you think? Cute, not cute, different, something? Okay, now for the, the hat, we can, we can put a zip tie around here, but you're gonna be able to see it. So what I thought I would do is just take either a little puff here that I made out of yarn or one like this and put it toward the end. So you can take it, well, let's just put the puff on the end, the dark green. And for this, you're gonna need to use some glue, hot glue, so I'm gonna take my hot glue Put some on the tip there, and we'll put this right here and hold it. And see this dark green and the light green, it picks up on this other here, if you're gonna put it all together. All right, so we'll come back to that. So I'm gonna lay this down flat here. Next, we're gonna address the nose. And for the nose, I bought these from Hobby Lobby, it's, it's in the wood pile section. They are, oh, make sure you can see it. Three and sixteenths, uh, it's a three and sixteenth hole, but we don't need that. They're one and a fourth inches. And as you can see, they're flat on the bottom here and round this way, flat on the bottom. Now you can paint this pink if you want to or white, however you want to do it, but I like it natural. All right, so we're gonna look at our gnome here and see where we want to put our nose and the nose will kind of go up under like so like that so let's put a little dab of glue on the bottom here we'll place the gnome and then we're going to put a little dab of glue here just so the hat will fit over top just like that. Now, now we're gonna take her hair. Now this is a, a mop, like I said, it, I couldn't find like the old timey mop, but this is one of these here. It's got the blue on it, which actually works better because it holds it together. So you could do it like this, you know, just put it on there like this, but I thought it would be nice to untwist it and see if we can get um, some more hair coming out. Maybe frizzy. Or like you when you put braids in your hair and then you it gets wet. Uh oh, one of those came out. And um, uh, then you let it out and it's it's kind of wavy. But if you could find some of the old timey mops, I think that that would work better. Just pull this apart. Looks like it's just two strands together. Can you see what I'm doing there? Um, now next week, if nothing happens, we're going to, uh, do my dining room, uh, decorate it in Easter and decorate the tree in Easter. Uh, I've been working on some other stuff and I will definitely show you that, but as you can see, you can kind of pull it out and it looks kind of 
you know, like hair, like that. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take and lift up here under our cap, and that blue is gonna go up under the cap, and we're gonna glue that in, just like that. And you can always trim off the bottom if you want to. We're gonna add a bow to the bottom of this. All right, so we're gonna take some glue, put it underneath our cap here, and glue our hair down. Just like that. And then we're gonna do the other side. Let's get hunting. All right. So let's pull this apart here. Chloe, what are people saying? Who's all watching? Man, this is coming apart. This was an expensive mop to be falling apart, huh? Eight people are watching. Eight? No, no, ten people are watching now. Oh, good. Ten people, no. you are so creative. Hey. Can you see some of the names? Um, uh, Heather... Christy, Crystal, Ashley, the creative. All right, Me. so now let's get the hair on the other side here. We're gonna lift up the so uh, the hat. Just put a bead of glue there. Uh -oh. Which is a sock. Yeah, which is a sock. And this, if you can find the other uh, mop, it would work so much better because this is just falling apart. Okay, and then we're gonna put this up here and glue it down. And you can always put a bead of glue uh, on the top too. That would probably be a great idea. Whoa, that is coming apart. Are you okay. gonna do the bows? Is that the bow one? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, man, the ribbon. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to take and we're gonna put a bow at the end of this hair. What did I do with my ribbon? Um, that I throw it in the trash can, which I've been known to do. Um, and you got a sock in the trash can. And that's a cut sock. Um, anyway, so all you do when you put some ribbon on, we'll just put this color here on. I can't find my green that I just bought. Which reminds me, um, I bought a new outfit um, at... Kato, I think, and because um, I'm going to get my picture made for my business page, and I bought a pair of earrings to match, and guess what I did? I threw those earrings in the trash, threw them right in the trash. Oh my gosh. So I did actually get some gloves and dig through the trash can, but I couldn't find them, so I don't know what I've done with them. Okay, so we're just going to take a little bit of ribbon here. And you can do, do whatever color. I had green, dark green, but I can't find it. And so you just take it and you just make your little bow at the end of it. Yeah, because she probably threw it away. Which is, she is known to do that. Yeah, I've been known to do that. Because she threw earrings. I threw my earrings away. Away. Oh, okay. So there you go. Little gnome with the ponytail. And, and you can always go and put, you know, ribbon across the top. You can put whatever to decorate it across the top. And that was my idea. But um, there you go. There's the little girl gnome or the mommy gnome. It's big. All right. I think I know where that ribbon is. Um, hang on one second. I think I know where my ribbon is. It was in a bag. All right. So let's change this ribbon out and put this dark green because I think it would look cuter. All right. So we'll just cut some here. We'll put some on this side, then we'll change it out on the other side.
just like so here. Man, I don't like this, the hair on this. Maybe I don't like this ribbon. It's a little big. Which one do y'all like better? The thinner or the thicker? Anyway, that's our little girl gnome. And like I said, you can go through here and do different things across the top. We could even go and, uh oh, we could even come across and glue some ribbon across the top here. Um, but that's our little girl. Now we're going to work on our uh, dad with a different kind of a uh, beard. All right, set her aside. Now we're going to take this. Take another sock here. We're going to cut the top of it off. Let's move that out of the way. All right, now let's fill it with our rice here. really a two-hand, a four-hand job. Oop, made a mess. Chloe ran off. All right. So there's our, let's put a little more in here. Poppy must be home. Oh. Okay, so there's our rice. You see, we just got enough to make it stand up. Okay? Now, we're going to take our polyfill and fill up the body. And like I said, you can fill this as, as uh, thin or as fluffy as you want. We're going to use the colored sock, the... Um, the other sock, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, a little bit more here. All right. So there we go. There's our, there's our known body. All right, how I did this one here with the this one on the end here, I took it and I zip tied it just like so. All right, I'm cut this off. You can actually trim this down a little bit. All right. So what I did with this one is I cut the heel off. I just cut it right here at the pattern. All right. So, we're going to put this on, put the hat on here, okay? Now, for the end of it, what I did is you can take it and you can sew it, the top of it. Uh, you can put a big stitch in it and gather it up, but all I did was take some glue and I really don't like that mop. Take some glue and just glue glue it together. Put a bead of glue in here. Make sure you get the raw edges turned down and glued in. And then just push it together like that. Okay? Now, to, in order to make it gathered at the end, I just took it and gathered it like so. And then just put some glue in there. Just like that. And then I put the thing on the, uh, the little ball on the top. Now you can use anything. You can put a bell. Uh, I just, I just happened to make some of these out of yarn, like I said, but uh, you can use a bell. Um, you can use um, 
belt and make make a little tip on it. You can use about anything. All right, so here's one that's kind of stuffed and here's one that's hanging. I think this looks more like a Santa Claus hat, so we're just gonna put a little stuffing in here. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna use another paper towel. I just took a paper towel and folded it up just to give it some body. Stuck it in there. And it just kind of gave it a little bit of body. Like so. It's not wanting to stay. Another glue stick here. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna put our nose on here. Put our sock over the end of it. And there are a bunch of ways that you can do these. I actually looked on YouTube and watched several people do it, and this is the one I like the best. All right, pull it down here, just like so. We're gonna take our little nose, add a little glue. And we'll put a little glue on our sock. And put our sock on. Fill in the glue. All right, now, a little piece of rice on there. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna add our beard, and to do that, you can just lift up on the um, nose a little bit. Well, I glued it down all the way. I didn't mean to do that all the way. But you can just take it and lift it up, lift the nose up and put it underneath. But I'm just gonna take and go across the top here and we're gonna cover it up with our hat just like so and then we're gonna put a dab of glue on there and glue it down And you can take and um, trim the beard down to a square, but I think I like it hanging just like that. Um, and that's the, so, so far we've got the dad, the son, and the daughter. Now let's make the mother. All right. So, or that's the mother because that's the big sock. I'm going to show you how to do it with this small crew sock here. All right, so you just take and put your rice in the bottom of it. And this is gonna be a smaller one because it's a smaller sock. All right. And then just a tiny bit of polyfill just to fill it up. Oops, that's way too much. Probably a fourth of that. All right, and then zip tight. And if you don't have a zip tie, you can put, you know, tied up with a string or a ribbon, whatever. Just make sure it's really tight so you don't, uh, it don't open up. Of course, you're gonna have your hat on it, but. All right, so there's the body. And as you can see, this has the gray on the back, but. That'll be fine because you're not going to see that part. All right. Now, we're going to take our sock. And we'll put a little polyfill in it. Just so it'll match. And that on top there. 
All right. Now this time I'm just gonna leave the hair like this because it's just aggravating to do it the other way. I cut some smaller here. I'll cut those off. So what we're gonna do, let's put our nose on so we'll know where to, a little bit of glue. The nose. Okay. Put a little glue on the sock there. It might be easier. Just don't burn yourself when you're pressing it down because it will hurt, believe me. All right. We'll take this longer one and we'll just cut it down. Glue across the sock there, the body, and then put this down. And then you can actually add some on top here and cover it up. Let's trim this hair to where it matches. All right, and then let's put us a little ball on the top. Just put a little glue there and add it to the top just like that. What is that background noise? That's Hank walking on the uh, floor. He walks back and forth. All right, so let's put all of our you got the mom, the dad. Let's turn this around and see if we can't see it a little bit better. There we go. Oh. Oh. Says I can't turn it when I'm live. Okay, so you got the mom here, the dad, the daughter, and the son. So you got your little known family. Now, what you can do with this is everybody has these trays that they love using, and you and I have two or three of these, and I use them just about for every holiday. Let's turn this up a little bit. There we go. So you can add some greenery in here and go in and add your little gnome family. Just like that. And then you can put the kids up here. Let's turn it up a little bit so you can see it all. There you go. You can add some other stuff in here. Some, um, let's see what I have. This is a wreath I'm working on back here, but you can take some of this and just add just whatever you want. Just add it in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, Here's another little Lucky Charm, four-leaf clover. Um, let's see. Oh, here. These, I bought at the, I bought these at the Dollar Tree. They're little pots of gold or little pots. Uh, you can add that in there. They also have gold. They had the little bags of gold and these little clovers here. You can just add those into the pots. 
and put this on your table or on in your kitchen on your dining table and you can even add if you wanted to save some of your coins you could even add some paper or polyfill just put it down in here so you don't have to use as much and then you can just add your coins there like that and just stick it in the in there all right so um these are easy to make uh, you can go back and watch the video you can youtube a video however you want to do it but these would be cute any uh for any holiday for easter for christmas for valentine any holiday and they're very very simple to make they don't take a lot of material you can get a lot of the stuff at the dollar store it doesn't take a, a whole lot of money to make then you can store these uh, I always put my stuff in a tub and uh, bring it out next year. And then you can reuse your uh, tiered uh, platter here. Now, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to show you some stuff that I'm working on. Of course, I still have my carrots um, that I'm selling. This is just a little thing that I had bought last year uh, and I just put my carrots in the back of it. These are $2.50 a piece. Um, I've got plenty of colors as you can see and I, I even have more uh, fabric that I'm gonna make some more. Um, but I also have made, now let me just say, preface this by saying I am not a seamstress by no stretch of the imagination. I kinda just do you know, and hope that it turns out. But I have made these little bunnies. Here, let me set this out of the way. This little bunny. I still have to add the eyes and the nose. But I made these little bunnies. And this one is for my great niece, Savannah. And then this one. You can see I put a tail on the end of it. And then this one I made for my granddaughter, Chloe. She loves Paris, so I made this one for her. Um, but like I said, I, I'm not a seamstress by no stretch of the imagination, but I do love making these, and uh, uh, these are just fun. And if you want one, um, just let me know. If you want to buy anything, um, just send me a private message, or not a private message, just like a message through Facebook or text me or message through Instagram. If you put it on Facebook, a lot of times I don't see it. I don't get a notice of it. So if you'll just send me a message through Facebook, that way I'll know I have it, okay? All right, well, I'm gonna go eat some supper. Let me change, let me turn this around here. I'm gonna go eat some supper um, and spend some time with my granddaughter before I have to go back to work tomorrow. But I appreciate everybody look uh, watching and um, get creative. It doesn't take a lot of money to get creative. It doesn't take a lot of money to create things. Go on YouTube, go on Pinterest, you know, wherever you can find ideas. Um, if you need help, just send me a message. I'll be glad to help you. Um, if you want me to decorate your house for Easter, uh, I would love to do that. Um, so uh, just send me a message. And we will definitely get together uh, next week. Um, I will have to let you know. Um, I think I work Monday and Tuesday. Thursday is uh, bingo for books at Chloe's school, and I think we're going. Um, so it may have to be Wednesday next week, which I really don't like doing because it's church night. But um, sometimes that's the only night that I have uh, with, between my work schedule. But anyway, y'all have a great night. Have a great rest of the week, a great weekend. Think about us at the hospital because I'll be working and it's been very busy. I hope everybody stays healthy and well. Um, and send me a message. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye-bye.